Okay, let's talk about working with dimensions inside plasticity. So as of uh, version 1.1, you will then have the option to uh, work with some dimensions inside plasticity. You, you've had it a little bit before, but now it's even more precise. So let's take for instance, so your line, circle, and polygon and rectangle will use this new dimensionality. So say like I want to put punch a hole in here at a certain dimension. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to do temporary construction plane. And let's say I want to get it right on that corner there. And I want to do it at a center radius of... Uh, two centimeters by two centimeters. So if I hit tab, I can punch in two and I'm set up on uh, centimeters already. Tap again, two, and there, now it's locked in at two by two. And if I right click, now this uh, square is perfectly two centimeters by two centimeters. And I've got a center point to where I can punch a circle shape through that canopy or lid so let's go ahead we're going to grab our circle and now say like i want it to be two centimeters all right so tab two enter now it's stuck at two centimeters boom so now i've got a perfect circle that i can punch through my lid here so select these two faces cut into it boom so now I have a perfect two centimeter hole. And when I say two centimeter hole, I'm referring to diameter, not radius. But I even have that center point that can give me a, you know, a specific measurement to that point. So that's basically how you can work with the new dimensions in here. So with um, let's take a look at some of the others real quick. So with the line, you also have the added benefit of radius. So say like I want that line three centimeters. Tab again, 45, at a 45 degree angle, and it will stay stuck to it. So if I hit tab again, I can reduce the measurement there. Boom. So let's take a look at our polygon. So I'll just go off of, I'll just pick a point somewhere in here. And you can see we've got a diameter radius there. Let's uh, find a more symmetrical shape. There we go. Tab, two centimeters. So now that hexagon's diameter is two centimeters and will not change unless I tab into it again to do 1.5. Execute. Now I can put that, punch a hole in there. There we go. But yeah, that is basically your uh, working with dimensions. So you can actually build a shape now at a specific measurement. So we'll do six, eight. Now I can actually draw a shape and I know it's six centimeters by eight centimeters now. So cool new feature coming out on uh, version 1.1 and that's basically dimensions inside plasticity.